Hello guys, welcome to another week here on Gunner Vlog. Um, the Arsenal squad have flown out to Australia, and a number of journalists too. I must say, I'm a bit jealous I'm not going. But, you know, the club wanted me to fly there myself. They wouldn't let me on the private jet, so never going to happen. The interesting thing, well, the first interesting thing about this tour has been the squad itself, the selection. It was named officially yesterday. Um, and some notable absentees. I mean... It was expected that the likes of Alexis, Mustafi, Holding, Chambers, Bellerin all missed out uh, because of international participation in tournaments. Joel Campbell has been at the Gold Cup with Costa Rica, so he doesn't go. Uh, and Santi Cazorla and Jack Wilshire are staying in the gym in London as they continue their rehabilitation. But some first team players who were available for selection have been left at home. Uh, and to be honest, I think all of their time at the club is coming to a close. Let's go through them one by one. So Kieran Gibbs, not a good sign for Kieran Gibbs. One would imagine he's been left behind because Arsene Wenger thinks that something could happen with him permanently. Whispers of interest from Newcastle, from Watford. Time really running out for Kieran Gibbs at Arsenal. Macha Debushi, I don't think he's even been training in London. Gibbs has at least been part of training at London Colney. I don't think Debushi even has been doing that. I think he's effectively a free agent even though I think he's got one year left on his deal. I think the club will let him go without any kind of fee whatsoever. Uh, Wojciech Szczesny, from what we hear, he's inching closer to that move to Juventus. Lucas Perez, linked with a number of clubs in Spain. And then Carl Jenkinson, who of course came so close to leaving in January to Crystal Palace. That move ultimately didn't go through, but surely now his time is up. I think the presence of Debussy and Jenkinson on that list does once again flag that Arsenal do have a bit of a problem potentially at right back or right wing back. I know Gabriel Polista played there for a period last season, but that was in a flat-back four. He's not a wing-back, certainly. And if Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain doesn't go, sorry, doesn't stay, doesn't sign a new deal, we're going to need someone there who's back up for Bellerin. But Oxlade-Chamberlain is on the plane, as is Meza Ozil, as is Olivier Giroud, maybe somewhat surprising. Lukaku has gone to Manchester United, and although they have brought in Wayne Rooney, rumours they could be pursuing a move for Giroud. Other clubs in France said to be interested too. But he's gone on the tour, which means I mean he's quite unlikely to fly back, isn't he? So I think we'll be, he'll be an Arsenal player for a couple more weeks at least. Maybe Giroud's waiting until the end of the transfer window to see how things pan out with Alexis, with potentially signing another forward player. Still talk about Kylian Mbappe in the press. I think that one's dead personally, but maybe Giroud and Arsene are waiting to see what happens there. Um, it's interesting to see the youngsters have got a call up as well. Ainsley Maitland-Niles and Reese Nelson, we would expect. They were both name-checked by Arsene Wenger toward the end of the last season as people likely to step up to the first team this year. Uh, but no Tuber Akpom. Not a good sign for him, really. I mean, he's not impressed in his loan spells. I know he went up with Brighton last season, but wasn't a first-team regular. I think his time with the club could be coming to a close. Daniel Marlin, exciting young Dutch winger. He's included Eddie Nketiah, who... Since his mid-teens, really, has been an astonishingly prolific goal scorer at youth level. I think he's a big, big prospect. I mean, we've talked about Afobe, we've talked about Akpom in the past, but Nketi is someone who we pinched from Chelsea. So if he could make the breakthrough at the first team, it would be all the more satisfying. And then Cohen Bramall, who I must say has been fantastic since arriving from, was it Hednesford or Hereford? I forget, from the non-league at any rate in January last year. He really impressed uh, with the under-23s, and I think we'll see him in the first team this season, maybe in a League Cup game or something. I can see him getting a run out, because he's got such electrifying pace, he's so good going forward. He is a classic Arsene Wenger fullback, and it seems absurd to say it, but I think he's got a chance of making a, a good career for himself, even if not at Arsenal, in the top couple of divisions. And what a transformation, what a turnaround in his career. I can't wait to see him play with the first team, what a big moment that'll be. So there we go, Arsenal off uh, to Australia, then on to Shanghai and Beijing. Uh, friendly games are never the most thrilling to watch, but it will be interesting to see if Arsene continues with that back three. I think that will be our first clue as to his real strategic plans for next season. But he's given us a clue, certainly, on the players who might be departing the club this summer. Anyway, stay tuned, stay subscribed for more updates as the tour continues. Safe flight, guys. Bye-bye.